Hi, you join me very awkwardly framed and out of shot, which is probably for the better, to be honest. And I've got a bit of a, a cheeky Nova Monk unboxing. Um, this all pretty much stemmed from my search to find more Teku style glasses and uh, received some uh, good tip offs um, on Instagram. And the one that really stood out to me was one from my good friend and uh, beer mule, Adam, a.k.a. Mersey Beers. And he showed me that Northern Monk were doing a uh, a little bundle of two cans of two different beers with a Teku glass. Um, the beers, I think, initially started off as exclusives for the um, the Patrons Project or the Patrons Society box that they do. And then they decided to uh, do a little bit of a bundle on the web shop and it was really well priced, four beers and a glass for 20 quid. And of course, uh, made a little bit more of an order and uh, Adam wanted to pickle a few bits and bobs as well. So I thought, you know what, we'll pull the trigger and we'll do a, a order. So I'll show you my beers and of course Adam's beers as well, because why not? So first you get a little bit of a... Um, bits and bobs like a keep the faith and a thank you note from Northern Monk. Uh, then there's tickets on sale for Hop City. wonder if you could scan that QR code. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing my best not to do beer festivals this year because I'm much more interested in tap rooms and bars and that sort of stuff. But that being said, I've never been to Hop City. And uh, no, uh, my good good friends go there um, whenever they can. So who knows? Who knows what my plans are for this year? I have to. But I'm looking there. So if I'm looking away from you, uh, please do not worry. And then you get a copy of their little sort of um, publication, the scribe, going on about new releases and projects, promoting their uh, International Women's Day collaboration beer that they did. So some nice bits and bobs. So without further ado, let's have a look at the cans. So first up, we've got two cans of Double Heaven. This is obviously the double um, or more imperial version of Heaven. Uh, picked up one can for myself, one can for Adam. I've got a put those there so they're out of the way. Uh, then we've got... One of my favourite beers ever, um, probably my personal favourite from uh, Northern Monk. Got two cans of Heaven, once again, one for myself, one for Adam. Who knows, there might be some collaboration live streams. Um, I know we're going to be uh, doing one for the uh, Rivington and Flock uh, collaboration. Um, I think Rob is going to be getting in on that as well. I know Craig has got a can, so we'll see how that pans out. Uh, then we've got the first of the uh, the patrons exclusive cans. Uh, the first one is uh, right up my street, and this is Secret Agent Cupid Deluxe, which is a blood orange IPA. Get in there, the lead. So what's the ABV on that one? And I'm actually just on my uh, lunch now as well. I can't find the. Oh, 5.7% ABV. Really like the artwork on that. Let me just see how I'm doing for time. There we go. Uh, then I've got a can of uh, Patrons Project, uh, part of the Amy Hastings series, 34.1. Amy Hastings, the lovers, Northern Monk Soft Center Imperial Stout with strawberry and cherry, cacao and vanilla, 10%. That's uh, one of Adam's beers. Really like the artwork on that. I'm a massive fan of the uh, the patrons project and just the the sort of little projects in general that Northern Monk do. Uh, next, this one is mine, and this is part of the uh, old Flax Store project, and this was from the um, Hong Kong sort of series, and this is a Black Sesame and Miso Black IPA. So very intrigued to see how those flavours work in a black IPA. 5.9% ABV. 
uh, brewed with Citra, Incognito, Cascade, Cashmere, Columbus, Mosaic, Miso Paste and Black Sesame, brewed in collaboration with uh, Heroes Beer Co. out of Hong Kong. A burgeoning craft beer scene. Uh, then this is one for me, and um, I'm really enjoying the fact that there's skateboarding and beer coming together. Um, if you've ever been to like a Northern Monks bar in Manchester or the uh, Old Flag store in Leeds, nine times out of ten you'll see a copy of, oh, what's the, the magazine called now? Vague, which is a skateboard publication. Always interesting. To read and uh, yeah i had to pick this up because even though i don't skateboard now because i'm massively overweight and uh approaching my mid 30s uh, i've sort of got the skateboarding bug or caught the skateboarding bug again and uh, i just love that whole culture and it takes me back to when i used to skateboard um i personally modeled myself on um the acrobatic um skills of rodney mullen but just completely minus all talent never ever landed a kickflip um really but i have been toying with the idea of just picking myself up a nice little skateboard like a proper one not like one you get from like home bargains or b&ms or whatever and you know just be nice to get around when i'm going like to manchester or on weekends away just skateboarding through the city uh Pop a few ollies here and there, um, grind on a on a curb, whatever, and uh, get accosted by overzealous security guards who are actually only doing their job, really. But um, yes, yeah, so this is uh, part of the Independent North, uh, blued in collaboration, blued, brewed in collaboration with Welcome Skate Store. Uh, WPA, Northern Monk, what's WPA? I'm not too sure. We'll get into it when I do reviews of these. So this is a pale ale, clocking in at 5%, brewed with El Dorado, Amarillo and Zappa. Thought he was a man, but he was a muffin. Not a big fan of Frank Zappa, to be fair. But I love the artwork on this, showing you some uh, well-used, but slightly in good condition, Skateboard decks, that's the one thing that always used to upset me when I got a new deck, when you skateboard, is because obviously you buy it for the design. It's like a piece of art on a, you know, in plywood really. It's sort of like beer labels. It's, to me, they're a little piece of art, so I like to collect them. But I'd always get proper bummed out when the scrap, the, you know, the design on your skateboard would start to scratch away, away while you were using it. But, you know, it's what happens really, isn't it? But yeah, lovely stuff. And uh, I'm glad to see that sort of collaboration. I remember when I was in a um, track with Rob when we did that video. And uh, I tell you what, the artwork from track would translate really nicely onto a skateboard deck. So uh, I'm glad to see those two worlds coming together. Um, I'm always interested when beer meets food, cuisine, culture. Um, uh, that's what I really like about beer and the craft beer movement as it is. So this is another one for Adam. This is the Lanra Bacare collaboration, which is the Polius alla Rionana, which is a vanilla, chocolate and cinnamon stout, 8.9% ABV, brewed with cacao, cinnamon and vanilla. Uh, I had this myself and quite enjoyed it. I think Northern Monk do really good culinary takes and collaborations with some of their beers, just to add something a little bit different. So next up, we've got uh, Agent 00 Solving, which is the second of the uh, exclusive um, patrons society beers with a hop that I'm not the biggest fan of, but um, you know, as I said, Four beers and a glass for 20 quid. And I got a bit of money back because, you know, Adam chipped in for that as well. So 5.9% ABV. So we'll see how that is. I say I don't like Nelson Solving. I've been really quite nicely nicely surprised by uh, recent ones. Then we've got another one of the Agent 00 Solving for Adam. And then, of course, we've got the Blood Orange IPA for Adam as well. 
And what do we have here? This is uh, the last beer and another one that Adam wanted. And this is part of the uh, old flax store project again. And this is uh, the New Zealand um, series. And this is uh, a red IPA, 7.4%, brewed of Amarillo, Simcoe and Columbus. Very old school sort of craft. That that sort of reminds me when I was getting into craft beer when you used to see a lot of the uh, early sort of American influence. So are there any bits and bobs in there? No. So the last part of this is the glassware. Just to make sure there's no like postcards or little bits and bobs around. I almost bought like uh because you can buy beer labels from them. like you get a, a random pack of five uh of the beer labels from across their range. But I decided against it because so I've got a good collection. I still don't know what to do with all the beer labels that I've uh, collected. Anyway, let's uh, see if I can actually open this box. And I certainly can. And that, ooh, ooh, very nice. I like that. So there's the, uh, the Teku with the uh, Northern Monk... Uh, Patron Society emblem on there, nice gold leaf design and the classic Cellar Artois premium <coughs> gold rim. Because if you're going to get a rim, it might as well be golden. So uh, yeah, nice cheeky little order really. Although I shouldn't really be buying any more beer because um, I've, even though I've cut down on a lot of stuff that I, I usually spend the money on in the, month or in the past few months. Still uh, approaching my overdraft with uh, still about two, well, over two weeks before I get paid again. So <coughs> I think this shall suffice until I have another moment of madness and just buy beer. But at least I've not used my credit card this month, even though I've got shit tons to pay off. But hey ho, it is what it is. And I need to save money for a trip to London in July. And then, of course, if work can actually give me the time off, there'll be the Marlboro Piss Up. Uh, Mark Three is that now? Is that the third Marlboro Piss Up? I don't know. Plus, a little bit bobbed there because I want to go visit uh, Rob up in Yorkshire. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some beer adventures with Adam, some random just jaunts into Liverpool like we did for the Beer X fringe stuff. Speaking of fringe, my hair looks absolutely terrible today. Um, my hair has become a, cul a culmination of Richard Harris, Boris Johnson and Jimmy Savile. Not the best sort of look, really. Um, I could be a pretentious arse and say, oh, I've gone a bit David Hockney or Andy Warhol, but that's, that's not going to stick, is it, really? Anyway, so yeah, nice cheeky little order from Northern Monk. Came here really quickly. And uh, thanks to Adam and his uh, selection, got me over that free delivery threshold. And um, yeah, that's the great thing about him living quite close is we could just, whenever we're doing beer orders, just pick up beers for, people, for the other one payment. Although Adam is still a sneaky bastard and he always manages to sneak in a few freebies. But it's what it is, isn't it? He's a, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, maybe in a, another lifetime we may have been lovers. Who knows? Who knows? Um, you'll probably vehemently disagree with that notion. But love is strange, isn't it, really? Love is strange. Anyway. If you tried any of these beers, let me know your thoughts opinions down below. Um, I think the next unboxing you'll be seeing will probably be the uh, Black Lodge Beer Club. Uh, which I can't remember what date I did it the first box, so that'll be in a couple of weeks anyway, probably in or all around payday. Um, but then again, I could just, uh, I've got a day off in a couple of days and I'll be bored and I might go to Booze, do another supermarket challenge uh, from Scott and Wanda. Who knows? We shall see. But I'm, I can guarantee you more money is going to be spent on alcohol, even though I don't really need it. Anyway, I think I'm a. Uh, 
approaching uh, the end of my lunch. So uh, better get logged back on and uh, earn those dollars. It's not that much, but hey ho, it is what it is. A job's a job, and um, you don't get shit for free in life, do you? Really? Anyway, cheers for watching. Northern Monk's information will be down below, and uh, hopefully you'll join me next time for whatever video I decide to upload next. Ladies, guys.